an interesting view. And yes, Franklin is right over Dominican Republic right now and moving off to the north. Wanted to give you a quick look at its current placement. You can see right over Espanola moving to the north. And then we'll take a little jog with some upper trough interaction off eventually to the north. And the only other two spots highlighted by the National Hurricane Center right now are these two spots far out in the Atlantic. This one clearly not going to come anywhere near us as it moves almost straight to the north. That one has a high chance now of developing. Its name could be Idalia, perhaps. And then this one farther out is also taking this more northerly or northwesterly track and not looking like it's going to come toward us. Now, next week, we might see a little bit of stirring potentially in the Caribbean. Maybe the eastern Gulf. We'll get into that in a second, but nothing officially highlighted and no immediate threats at all for our area as far as the tropics go. As Mike said, the thing today, definitely the heat. Our temperature at 94, feeling like 110. Again, air temperature is already surging to 97 in a lot of spots, including almost all of our North Shore locations and Bell Chase as well. Gonzalez saying 98. Feels like temperatures surging also toward about 110 plus, and it could feel like 115 or higher. And of course, we continue with those red flag warnings for North Shore and Mississippi spots. Of course, the burn ban all over the state of Louisiana right now, and it does continue out into most of Louisiana and East Texas. So the extreme heat, definitely the thing that we're watching today. The hottest temperature on record will be possible this afternoon. We have hit that temperature before one time on August 20th. 22nd, 1980. Of course, that was the day that we set the record. We have hit one degree below that, 101, eight times, including three times this year. The other five were before this year, but three times this year. And keep in mind, we're talking right now about the International Airport at Kenner. Records there go back to 1946. And when we talk about a record, it seems like we're always saying record heat. We've had 15 days with record heat in August so far this month. Usually that means the daily record meaning one specific day. For example, today's the August 23rd. We would look at today's temperatures and then compare it to all the other August 23rds from past years. But of course, when we talk about the all time record, that's the highest re recorded at all ever in any year. And sometimes we even talk about monthly record temperatures or rainfall, and that would be the most we ever got for that particular month. So kind of different ways to define a record. But when we're talking about all time records, again, it's 102 at the airport, Slidell and Gulfport 104, Macomb 106, and Baton Rouge is much higher at 110. And they've had several days they got to 105 plus. Uh, in the past as well. So these are the all time records. Our daily record for today's date is 99 degrees. So we will probably surge past that for a daily record high temperature and again approach the all time record could feel like about 115. Some people have asked me, well, if the temperature gets so high, do we still have the really high humidity? And the answer is yes. And we're still looking at that feels like temperature around 115, maybe even a bit higher and then getting back eventually tonight into the 90s for feels like temperatures. But if you're out eight, nine o'clock after sunset, will likely still feel like about 100. So just the extreme heat, you know what to do at this point. But today I think might be a little worse by a degree or two than we've seen north of the lake and south tonight in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Remember that high is that sinking air. It compresses as it moves downward and it heats up as that happens. It also makes it hard for the rain to form and cool us off and boom. That's what we've been dealing with. Notice that it will start to surge a little bit back to the west and this is what we were talking about. Once we don't have that protective high over us and it moves westward, that could open up somewhere off to the east, especially maybe for some tropical development. But wanted to show you a couple of the models. This is next week. You can see the GFS showing some moisture kind of surging into Florida, perhaps. Wanted to show you the European model which yesterday had a little bit of a more organized system in the eastern Gulf, but today just has some moisture again, maybe moving toward Florida next week. Again, we have no threats at all, but we're reaching almost the peak of the season, which is September 10th. So of course, we'll be watching everything closely for now, though. Obviously, the triple digits are the main concern.